Hi, I'm Daniel, and this is another video about Phineas and Ferb, but this time different because I finished doing best Phineas and Ferb songs. So I'm on to other videos, this time about Heinz Doofenshmirtz. Me and Perry in the second of the episodes, if you ask most, they'll prefer the Doofenshmirtz stuff. He is a villain but fails every time, and the next day he has a new piano and an eater. The constant cycle that happens to him every day, this video you're going to see. Playing it the best might be a bit of an exaggeration, but it's a good title and a teaspoon question mark. Best will probably be a song or comedic moment, but this will focus on how it ties to his character and story. Remember this scene a yacht, so let's just get into it. The episode is from season 4 and the first part of the 7th half hour. Not my problem. This episode has the main plot, which has one of the best songs that I'll probably get stuck in my head while I'm making the video. Phineas, Ferb and the others try to solve Alexander the Great's Gordian Knot. Meanwhile, Doof's part is about how all you can eat vegetables are a scam because you can't eat that much. He is aware of a problem and could work around it like designers often do. However, he plans to create his own all you can eat restaurant with bad food in so he can make loads of money. To destroy the competition, he bought the advice to eat more and not gain weight while doing that. It's common for you to plan a rich involves shooting someone else with the Anita, but his yuck made a reflect onto him. He started eating a yacht, which gets to a conversation he has with some random guy. He asks Doof about how he's not gaining weight. Doof explains his spiritual immetabolism. And the guy suggests he should mass produce the advice because everyone wants to buy it. That would make him a millionaire. Doof responds saying he has a complicated plan to make money instead. He then comments that I'm going to take advice from some guy to die now. This scene, while only short, shows how Doofenshmirtz could be successful. Because the yard people would want to be able to eat the yard without weight gain, he is aware of problems with oiking your restaurants and could try and fix it. I idea is in his face, literally this time, but he ignores it for the piano he was trying. Even if he bankrupts the competition, why would people go to an oil can eat if the food is going to be good to begin with? I dare suggest there will be a way better piano to make money. Also, it ties to the young term piano or ruling the tri state area, but is that really what he wants? He hates his brother Roger, mainly due to his parents' neglect, and the Yarvis Fiaspect show that. The main reason he still wants to is due to what he understands, but that was just a one off date that shouldn't mean anything. It's a repetitive cycle that continues every day with a new evil plot and an eater. His tying to could use these inventions for good, but he has poor planning skills, like he said in Save Summer. Everything keeps being executed badly of him, and the audience ends up eventually feeling sorry for him and wanting him to succeed in some way. Mario Murphy's Yaw, here's Professor Time and the one who created time travel. Knowing continuity history with time travel used before, it makes sense considering his abilities. Nators are great, but he wastes time on convoluted plans and taking over the tri state area. There's Pavel with Candace as well, and although it wasn't a focus episode, if Senator made the thing of the day disappear and the cycle starts again. Stuck doing this 104 times. There's more episodes than that, but you get the point. Back to the scene the video is about, the guy at the diner comes with an idea that he could easily use. Now, the Anators. You can easily imagine there being a market for that. It could apply to most of the things he builds. It doesn't go that way, and Doof never reuses the Anators or the same piano. Except in the last day of summer when there's a time loop. Okay, the organisational article acronym. Copy and make use of the Anators better, while Doof is stuck doing this. All this reasoning is why I consider it the best Doof and Smirt scene. And it's from point one of the best you ever in episodes. In conclusion, this was a nice as about a moment I don't hear about that much. Probably not the actual best, but it's interesting for what it means for the character. There will be some other things in third videos like this because of how much I love this show and enjoy it. I also made two of my memories your videos, but that way I can be the only ones. Yes, in some weird way, it gets renewed three years after the last episode of season two. Hope you liked what I had to say here when discussing Doofenshmirtz's character. It was only short, but the IQ already exists younger videos about Doofenshmirtz. I just wanted to look at one particular scene. The end.